Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for binomial distribution. Given we have the x is binomially distributed with n, which is equal to 10, and the probability of success, which is equal to 0 0.2. Find the a, where we have probability that x is equal to 4. Number 1, we can make use of the formula 10c4. And then we have 0 0.2 to the power of 4, and then 0 0.8 to the power of 6, because 10 minus the 4. Then, by referring to the calculator, and we have the probability that x is equal to 4 will be equal to 0 0.088 and 1. Or, we can make use of the table. Probability that x is equal to 4 will be equal to probability that x is greater or equal to 4. Since we are making use of the greater than table, so we have to eliminate the 5 and above. So, minus the probability that x is greater or equal to 5. By referring to the table where we have the n, which is equal to 10, and the probability of success, which is equal to 0 0.2. So here we have 0 0.2. And then the n, here we have the 10. So n is equal to 10. We are interested in 4 and also the 5. So 4, we will have 0 0.1209, and then 5, we have 0 0.0328. So kindly substitute the situation. 0 0.1209 minus 0 0.0328. By referring to the calculator, probability that x is equal to 4 will be equal to 0 0.0881. Next, kindly refers to b, where we have the probability that x is greater than 6. So if we refer to the question, the sign is important because binomial is the discrete situation. So modify the situation. So probability that x is greater or equals to 7. So kindly refer to the table. So now we are interested in the 7. So the 7 would be 0 0.0009. So here we have 0 0.0009. Next. We are interested in the situation, probability that x is greater than 2 and less than or equals to 7. So do remember, we have to modify the situation so that we have the equal sign. So probability that x is greater than or equals to and less than or equals to. So for the 7, we're still the same. But for the 2, we have to modify, it become 3. So make use of the formula, probability that x is greater or equals to 3 minus so, refers to the question, we are interested in 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, but not for 8. So, we have to minus probability that x greater or equals to the 8. So, Kylie refers to the table. And we are interested in 3 and also the 8. So, probability that x is greater or equals to 3. So, we will have... 0 0.3 and then we have triple 2 minus 0 0.0001 so the probability that x is greater than 2 less than or equals to 7 where we will have 0 0.3221 next focus on the d in order to find the mean where we have np so we have 10 multiplied with the 0 0.2 so the mean will be equals to 2 Next, we have the variance, where we have n, p, q. So here we have 10 multiplied with the 0 0.2, multiplied with the 0 0.8. So in here, we will have variance, which is equal to 